time I'm going to demonstrate how I make a grommet. Of course, in Illustrator, there's always more than one way to make things, but I'm just going to show you the way I do it. Um, before we get started, I'm going to remind you, please make sure you're using a mouse. Do not be using your finger on the trackpad. Um, or yeah, if you have one of those fancy what, tablet thingamabobbers, that will work as well. Um, but please, using your finger, ugh, too much, too much trouble. It's not worth it. So please get at least a mouse. That's what I'm going to be using today. Um, okay, so we have two grommets here. So I think a good way to start is to just draw a circle of how big I even want my grommet in the first place. So it looks like the grommet falls in the middle casing here. So I'm gonna hit the letter Z. I'm gonna zoom into our cat that we're working on. I'm gonna hold the space bar down so I can pan over and why not? I think I'll zoom in a little bit more. I hit the letter Z real quick and space bar. So to make a circle, of course, you can always just go over here to your tool. I do like to hit the keyboard shortcut, the letter L. I kind of remember it because of like, I guess there's an L in circle or eclipse, ellipse, I don't know. So, okay, so now you're gonna click and drag and I like my circles to be perfectly symmetrical. So I'm gonna hold shift, you know, after I start to click and drag it, I hit shift. Still pushing on the mouse button here. Um, and let's see here, how big do I want it? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller actually. I'll tell you why in a minute. I'm gonna hit the letter V, that switches to my black arrow and then I'm gonna be really careful about moving it here. Okay, cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the stroke width. So, um, hmm, is that how I want my grommet to look at the end? Like maybe that's just how big I want it. Do I want it bigger? That's at one. That's kind of too much, right? What if I type, typed in 1.5? What does that look like? I still think that's a little bit too big too. One was kind of good. Let me try 1.25. Uh, maybe that one's good. Okay. Maybe this is the, the width I want, like the final grommet, the outside and the inside. I think I like it. You can always, you know, make it bigger. Make sure you're holding shift. Oh, dear. I'm going to hit back to the black arrow and just kind of center it as best I can. Okay, I think I like this. So what I'm going to do, while it's selected, I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to hit Command-C to copy it. PC, you do Control-C. And just have that floating on my clipboard, and I'll grab it when I need it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline this stroke. So I'm going to go object, uh, path, outline stroke. So it just turned my stroke to a fill color, okay? Now I'm going to hit command F. Remember how I had that thing pasted? It was a stroke. Um, and I'm going to change it to a different color. We can just do like white for right now. And it's also kind of thick, that 1.4. So I'm going to bring it down to like maybe 0 0.5 is good, maybe even a little less. Okay, we'll see. I can always change it later. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm gonna change the stroke to actually outline around it so there's a fill. So I'm gonna go up to object, um, path, outline stroke. Okay, and now I'm gonna use the blend tool yet again. So I wanna make sure both of my shapes are selected, my white circle and my black circle. To do that, I was in the black arrow tool and I held shift on the keyboard to select them. I'm gonna zoom in, space bar to pan. Um, okay, so here is our blend tool, keyboard shortcut W. I'm just gonna click this first anchor point on the black and then I'm gonna hit the next anchor point on the white. You see a little plus sign that pops up. And there we go, it actually blended it together. But let's double click it. I'm gonna command negative a little bit. I'm gonna go click, click on that blend tool. Okay, so it defaulted from how I was using it previously and I had it set on steps. I'm actually gonna change it to do smooth color. And I'll say, okay. And then I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna hit the letter A and click outside of it just to kind of deselect. It's a little harsh. Oopsie, where did it go? I'm gonna hit the letter Z, come back, and pan. I mean, it's like, it's okay, but what else can I do to make it a little bit better? I think my black is just a little too harsh. So I used the white arrow and I selected that original black circle and I'm gonna double click it. I'm gonna change it maybe to like a shade of gray of some sort. Um, and then even the white, is the white too harsh? What if I double click that guy and make that more of a shade of gray? I don't know, you can really play around with whatever you think looks best. Maybe you like the shine and be like, I want shine. Bring it back up to the white. 
Um, it's your grommet. You can do whatever you want. What I like about the grommet is that you see the hole kind of going through um, as well. So that's kind of nice about it. Um, so there you go. That's your tutorial for how I make a grommet. Um, let me know if you guys have questions and feel free to suggest other ways. I know there's more than one way to do things in Illustrator. So I'm happy to start a grommet conversation.